We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Chad Spearman with a Cattle Facts update. New crop corn supplies are expected to rise sharply assuming favorable growing conditions prevail this summer, which would drive new crop corn prices lower in the months ahead. U.S. corn plantings are expected to total 95.9 million acres, rising to the highest level in 75 years and increasing 4 million acres compared to 2011. Increased corn acres, along with a brisk planting pace, are setting the stage for a sharp increase in U.S. corn supplies for the 2012-2013 corn marketing year. Projected stocks to use levels are likely to improve to between 9 and 12 percent a substantial increase compared to the levels realized over the past several months that have ranged from 5.2 to 6.8 percent. The USDA will release the first official new crop estimate on May 10th. Historically, December corn futures tend to reach their annual highs between May and July amid peak production concerns. Once the acreage and planting concerns are abated, the market tends to trend lower into the glut of harvest unless hot and dry conditions in the summer threaten the crop. This analysis looks at the timing of the December corn futures market lows that occur between the months of June and December. Over the past 32 years, since 1980, the weekly December corn futures lows have occurred between June and September 17 times. The lows have occurred between October and December 15 times. If new crop stocks to use levels rise to 9 to 12 percent, December corn futures are expected to have risk down to the $4.75 to $4.85 per bushel range in the months ahead. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Chad Spearman. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.